A standard 12-lead EKG may help diagnose the culprit artery in the setting of an acute coronary syndrome. Remember, each lead on the EKG is like a video camera looking at a specific point on the surface of the heart. Some of these cameras are next to each other and may therefore record ischemia along an entire territory. For example, if you remember this diagram formed from the limb leads, you could see that leads 2, 3, and AVF are all recording from the bottom of the heart. These three leads together are called the inferior leads because they look at the inferior portion of the heart. If we continue with this diagram, we see that leads 1 and AVL, which are neighbors, are located laterally. These are called the lateral leads. If we look now at the precordial leads, which record on their horizontal axis, leads V1 and V2 are deemed septal leads, leads V3 and V4 are anterior leads, and leads V5 and V6 are also considered lateral leads with 1 and AVL. When leads V1 to V4 are involved, it is considered anteroseptal, and when it is leads V3 to V6, it will be called anterolateral. Of note, in order to diagnose ischemia or infarction on EKG, at least two leads of one territory must show signs of ischemia or infarction. Finally, let's match the leads with the corresponding coronary artery. Take a moment to pause the video and with what you learned in this video and the last, match the following coronary arteries with the appropriate leads. So RCA ischemia will most likely be seen in the inferior leads 2, 3, and AVF. Ischemia in the LAD territory will mostly be seen in the anteroseptal leads, as in leads V1, V2, V3, and V4. Circumflex ischemia will most likely be seen in the lateral leads, leads 1, AVL, and V5 and V6.